Here is a great picture taken from a pictorial that was done by photographer James Abbey, of, uh, cover, who covered the stars of the 1920s. This, of course, is Mr. Will Rogers, um, cattle roper, a rope twirler extraordinaire, could do all kinds of things with a, uh, a lariat or a, or a rope when it came to uh, roping steers or cattle. And it was one of the things that he performed on stage. Uh, Star of the Ziegfeld Follies, uh, American humorist extraordinaire, and be beloved by all who knew him. Uh, and of course, when he was a star of the Ziegfeld Follies back in the early 20s, he made some records on Victor. And I'm going to play for one of those records for you now. This is probably one of the most famous ones that he made. And this is. Uh, if I can get the right light on this one, I don't know if I can. Um, Will Rogers nominates Henry Ford for president. This is 45 369A. This was made in 1923 uh, by Will Rogers. So let me put that on for you because it's a, a fine example of his uh, one of his humorous stories. politicians. The Democrats are the middle of the road party. The Republicans are the straddle of the road party. So I hereby nominate Mr. Henry Ford, president, and christen the party the all over the road party. In the first place, it's too bad he is the competent. That is the only thing that'll be. Miss Ford's a good friend of mine, and years ago, he overlooked the suggestion that would have made him immortal. It was when he went over to stop the war. I wanted him to take the girls we had in the folly and let them wear the same costumes they wore in the show and march them down between the trenches. Believe me, the boys that have been out before Christmas. He has made more money than any man in the world by paying the highest wages. Yet, he don't even manufacture necessities. Neither would you call it a luxury or just kind of comes under the heading of knick-knacks. I was at his home last year and happened to ask him that in case of a stiff opposition, just how cheap he could sell his car. He said, well, I will. By controlling the selling of the parts, I, I could give the cars away. He said, well, those uh, things would shake off enough folks in a year to pay for themselves. Second year, that's just pure profit. People think Dr. Cooey was the originator of auto suggestion, but Mr. Ford is. He originated all those suggestions when he made the synopsis of a car. He just recently lowered the price, $50. That's done to discourage thievery. He is the first man that ever took a joke and made it practical. So let's let him take this country. Maybe he can repeat. He should make a good political race carries two-thirds of this country now. There's no reason why there shouldn't be a Ford in the White House or everywhere else. He's the only man that could make Congress earn their salary. He would start a bill through and give each one something to tack on to it. When it come out, it would be ready to use. He is the only man that when Congress started stalling could lift up the hood and see what was the matter with him. Some are against him because he don't know history. What we need in there is a man that can make history, not recite it. Now, if Mr. Ford will just take another one of my suggestions, he can be elected. If he will just make one speech and say, Voters, if I am elected, I will change the front on them. From 1923, that's uh, the beloved American humorist, Mr. Will Rogers. And uh, Will Rogers nominates Henry Ford for president. And that's on the uh, Victor Blue label, of course, again from 1923. Hope you enjoyed that.